Hi, this is Derek with Automatic Door and Hardware. Uh, today I'm going to go over uh, port programming a Magic Force dual low energy um, setup on the uh, MC521 Pro controller, the black label here. Um, so anytime you replace the controller in a Magic Force and you have this, um, either the, the yellow face, this black face, or there's a white face control, you have to run it through a learn, otherwise you will get nothing out of your door um, because the controller has to understand where the door is at at all times and without that learn it cannot do that um, so we're going to do um, a fis here um, so what we're going to do is we're going to first turn the opener in the off position so the power is on but we want it to be in the off position um, then your doors should come fully shut. They should be in the, the closed position. Um, once you do that, then we can <coughs> go ahead and start the process here. Um, now, what is a Magic Force dual low energy? That is a door opener that is connected to a pair of doors and is run by push plates. Um, so that means you have to push the button and then the door will activate. So let's go ahead and get started here. So what we're going to want to do is um, hold down the enter and we are going to go to uh, number 99 and we're gonna release 99 and set it to zero zero. This is going to unlock the control and allow us to do the learn mode. Um, then we're going to hold down enter again and we're going to go to 96 and set this to zero one, and then it should say A zero. This means that we're starting to do the learn process. So next time you hold enter, it's gonna default at zero zero. Um, for a magic force dual low energy setup, you want to set zero zero to number eight. So let me scroll up to eight. All right, that's set up. Okay, next we are going to set the uh, motor handing. So we're, zero one is for motor one. So um, motor one is going to be um, either left hand or right hand. So when you look at what's plugged into your motor one on the controller right here, you need to trace this wire back and look at which uh, motor gearbox it's going to. If it's going to the motor gearbox on the right hand side with the spindle on the right, that is going to be uh, zero, zero. If it is going to the spindle on the left hand side, it is going to be zero, one. So um, for this example, I'm gonna make the right hand, <coughs> uh, the motor one right hand. So I'm gonna release it. It's already set to zero, zero. So we're good there. Next, we're gonna go up to motor two and this has got to be the opposite hand, uh, assuming you have a pair that swings out. Um, so motor two, and then I'm gonna set this one to zero one. Okay. And then the next thing we do is we go to three. I'm gonna set this to one to, and then it should go to A1 here on the display. And now we are ready. So all we have to do is you First, make sure nobody is in the way, the swing path of the door, um, because there are, if you have sensors on your door, um, they will not work at this point. Um, so we're gonna flip this to hold open, and we are going to flip it to off as soon as we see the door start to open. So we'll do off, hold open, and then off. And then you'll see, I don't have motors hooked up, so you're gonna see eight, uh, it'll say, a2 when it completes the full cycle, so the doors will come fully open, and then they'll come fully shut. Um, A2 signifies that your uh, learn went good, and you are you're done from this point <coughs> um, for the learn cycle. Um, D1 is referencing door one, and D2 is referencing door two. Um, I guess motor one, motor two. Um, so um, when you see D1. Um, or D2, that's what it means. Um, so now, now that we have the A2, we wanna get rid of that A2, so we're gonna just 
hold down enter, we're gonna go to 99 and we're gonna lock this control with it by setting it to one. And then it'll have the status code. So now you'll see it's kind of useful to have the D1 and D2 because it's telling us right now that both doors are closed. So D1, 0, 0, then it says D2, 0, 0, um, which signifies both doors are closed. <clears throat> so when you see it cycle open too, you'll see it go um, D1, 0, 4, D2, 0, 4, um, and then D1, 0, 6 for full open, D2, 0, 6, um, and so on. Um, but uh, from this point, all you need to do is um, adjust settings on your door. Um, make sure you have plenty of um, closing, uh, hold open time, and uh, <clears throat> you can set your speeds at this point. Um, now with the Magic Force, this controller, you do set your individual, uh, your, your speeds and your motor, uh, your hold open times and stuff. You can set that individually within this control, um, and it's located under um, D1. Um, uh, it, there are different parameters for um, for them. So yeah. So for example, um, now when we go into the control, if we wanted to change open speed, um, you're going to be at index zero for motor one. So let's go ahead and do it, just to give you an example. So I'm going to hold down enter, go to 99, and unlock it. Okay. So now we're going to go back up to zero. So this is gonna be your motor speed one. This one's defaulting at six, but here you get to change it. Zero, zero, we're at motor one for open speed. And then you just can turn it up. And 16, so. And then now for motor, two, it's going to be 20. So you, as you can see, the first 20 settings here are gonna be strictly for motor one. So all these are different parameters for motor one. And then this one we set to 15, or if you wanted it to run faster or slower or whatever, but this is good, that would be for motor two. Uh, anytime you make changes, you always wanna make sure you lock it afterwards um, to save the settings. That is how you program the Stanley Magic Force Duel. Thank you for watching.